Hey friends, welcome back to our kitchen. In today's video, I am making a Chinese-inspired braised beef brisket and tendon stew. This is a traditional Hong Kong style dish that I personally grew up eating all the time. They also serve it at dim sum. The traditional recipe does contain flour, cornstarch, uh, sugars, soy sauce, and all those sorts of things. But in today's video, I am making my keto slash ketovore version of this recipe. If you are loose carnivore, this recipe will also work for you as well. I am using coconut aminos today, which is a soy sauce substitute. Now this brand here, we get this at Whole Foods. You can pretty much get this at any grocery store as well as on Amazon. But this is made out of coconut, nectar, water, apple cider vinegar, and sea salt. And another brand that we happened to stumble upon recently at Whole Foods is this one called Naked and Saucy. We haven't tried this one before, but we are looking forward to doing some testing. The ingredients in this one is reduced sugar, fermented coconut sap, and unrefined sea salt. I did recently see this brand at Costco, so I think they are growing quite a bit, but I am looking forward to testing this one out and uh, maybe coming up with some recipes in the future for it. The other ingredient I'm using today is red boat fish sauce. If you watch any of my other Asian inspired recipes, you'll know that uh, I'm a big fan of red boat fish sauce. It is a pure fish sauce that doesn't contain any sugar, so it's just anchovy and sea salt. And it provides that really great umami flavor that we're going for today. Now for our meat today, we are featuring some beef rib finger meat. This is basically the same thing as brisket or very similar to brisket, so feel free to just replace with traditional brisket. Finger meat is something that you can get mostly at Asian butchers. Again, brisket is the same thing. It's a slow pulling meat that is high fat and very tender. I am making this in my Instant Pot today, so it doesn't take too long. In the actual Instant Pot, we're only setting it for about 30 minutes and then just allowing for some time for natural release and for the Instant Pot to get up to pressure. So beef finger meat is the meat that exists between the uh, bones of the ribs. So this fatty, juicy meat is typically cut away from the bones from the section of the ribs uh, where there is not too much meat on top of the bones. So finger meat is basically like halfway between the short ribs and the ribeye. So I am using about two pounds of beef rib finger meat today and I'm also using some beef tendons. Now these came in the frozen section of my Asian grocery store, but sometimes they also sell it fresh. I just let it thaw in the fridge overnight. Um, this is about one pound here. So beef tendons are a collagen rich protein that have a ton of nutritional benefits to them. Now, if you're doing the carnivore diet, tendons are very lean. They're basically pure protein with very little to no fat. So what you have to do is you have to pair it with something fattier like brisket or this beef rib finger meat, which is basically the same thing. And then that way it balances out and gives you that satiety, that good fat to protein ratio that we're trying to go for. Tendon is incredibly nutritious and contains calcium, phosphorus, iron, as well as vitamin B1 and B2. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. It really allows us to spread our message and help as many people as possible. So let's get right into it. So the first step is actually to boil your meat. So this is a step that's used in all Chinese style, Cantonese style cooking. This is just a tip that I learned from my mom and my grandma growing up. We always boiled our meat before making any sort of dish and it's just a staple part of Chinese cooking. So today we are going to respect the Chinese tradition even though I don't usually do this for some of my other recipes and we're going to boil our meat and let all the impurities draw out. When I say boil your meat, I'm basically saying we're just gonna blanch it with some hot water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut this into bite-sized pieces, about one inch uh, thick, one inch long. Now they will shrink down a little bit in the Instant Pot, so just keep that in mind. Something like this is a good size, just little one inch cubes. If you're looking for detailed recipe instructions, check out our blog at justrealfood.com. Next is beef tendon. You can see here, this is what it looks like. It's like a clear white tendon. <laughs> now this has already been chopped out of the package, so I don't really need to chop it too much more. Just requires a little bit of elbow grease. So 
so I do have a pot of water boiling on my stove top. I've also chopped up two pieces of ginger. Um, again, it's just like an Asian cooking technique. It helps get the beef a little bit more pure tasting, helps draw out more of the impurities. Um, we're not gonna end up eating this by any means. Um, so let's head over to my stove top. So it's been about three to four minutes. As you can see here, some of the impurities are starting to draw out of the meat. Um, but this is just blood and all the other stuff that may have been in the meat as well as inside the tendons. So I do have a little strainer here and all I'm going to do is uh, strain out some of these impurities and put it into a bowl. And you kind of just want to keep doing this for a couple of minutes. Try to get this beef as clean and pure as possible. Now, if your beef is really, really uh, dirty, you can change the water, but this one here doesn't look too bad today. This is normal gunk that comes out of the beef. So, so I'm just draining out all of the beef. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a wash uh, just to make sure we don't have any other gunk or impurities on here before we dump this all into the Instant Pot. Alrighty, so at this point, it's basically just dump and go. I got my handy dandy Instant Pot here. And we're gonna pour in all of the uh, beef finger meat as well as the tendons. Now I have equal parts of coconut aminos to the Red Boat fish sauce. So I'm just gonna pour those right in. I have some Chinese five spice powder. You can get this on Amazon. It's basically just a blend of Chinese herbs. And it kind of gives it that flavor that we're going for. And I also, as the braising liquid today, have some beef stock. So you just need enough beef stock basically to cover the bottom of the pot. You can also use water, but I find that the beef stock will uh, just provide a little bit more depth of flavor, if you will. But I am just gonna give this a bit of a mix with a spoon, just to make sure all of the spices and the uh, coconut aminos is well incorporated. Okay, so lid on and Instant Pot on high for 30 minutes. And all of the detailed recipe instructions as well as the measurements will be on our blog at justrealfood.com. I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested. Alrighty, so this is done. I did allow the Instant Pot to natural lease for about 20 minutes, uh, which is an optional step, but I find that it just makes the beef a little bit more tender if you have the time. So I am just going to depressurize this and we'll see what we have. It smells amazing already. A lot of steam. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. Gonna give this a bit of a mix. It smells really good. The five spice powder really came through. You can see here the little pieces of beef just fell apart, came super tender. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. Tendon does tend to be a little bit slippery, so just be careful chopping this up. Now I'm just throwing everything back in and I'm gonna give this a mix. And now this is ready to serve. Got my little oval casserole dish here. Alrighty, it's taste test time. So I'm just gonna go right in and grab a piece. Smells amazing. I love the smell of five spice powder because it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of the dishes that I grew up eating. And again, it's a keto keto war friendly dish that uh, doesn't have any of the sugar or the soy and some of the other ingredients we're trying to avoid. Another option is actually to add daikon to this dish if you want, which is basically just a Chinese radish that this dish is traditionally served with if you lean more keto keto war. If you add daikon, nothing really changes. All you have to do is add a little bit more liquid. The cooking time should generally be about the same. So let's dig right in. Oh my God. Mmm. That is so good. It just melted right in my mouth. I love this cut of beef. It's very delicate, but it just provides great flavor. 
nice and fatty. Perfect cut if you're on the carnivore diet. And um, again, tendons, because they are so low in fat and basically just pure protein, the tendon and the brisket combination just makes this perfect as a standalone meal on carnivore. And again, tendon just has a ton of nutritional benefits and properties. I really like the chewiness of tendon. Some people don't like the texture and that's okay. But um, if you like it, then you know, tendon is absolutely delicious. Mm. If you liked my video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really allows us to spread the message and help as many people as possible. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what keto, ketovore, or carnivore dishes you want to see us make in the future. Until next time.